This is New Ross, County Wexford, the sunny southeast of Ireland. Wexford is famous for its history, culture, folklore, and of course, its music. The town of New Ross is a busy satellite town to nearby Waterford and is situated on the River Barrow, which is home to the famous famine ship Dunbrody. Its countryside, with its valleys, hills, and unspoilt waterways has a natural beauty that is second to none where everyone can enjoy its peaceful walks and relaxing atmosphere. Well, the New Ross Industrial Pipe Band basically is one big family, really. Um, I've been involved, and I come from Dublin, and I travel over 90 miles to practice. And um, I'm playing with the pipe band since I was 19, started when I was about 19, so it's been back a long, long time, over 20 years. And uh, I must say, the only way to describe it is one big family. Right, the band was formed uh, October 1974. Uh, I had just arrived in town as a newly qualified primary school teacher and was approached by um, a local man called Pat Gorman who was aware that I had played pipes and was in a band, I played with the Ray Pipe Band. So he approached me to start a pipe band here in town that would cater for youth and would cater for boys and girls. There was a pipe band and then uh, still is the FCA Pipe Band local uh, crew but they could only take adult males at the time. So we started the band in 1974 and we're on the road early 1975 I think we first appeared out and we've gone from strength to strength ever since. 1986 we were first approached to go abroad, we went to Spain. So one festival led to another and we went to France to maybe half a dozen times at this stage, Wales, Scotland, Rome to play for the Pope and we have an invitation this year now to go to play in Sicily for Christmas. And America and America again next year and his that so.
Euros and Wexford has given the world many famous sons, from poets, playwrights, presidents, and many famous naval officers. To inventors and entrepreneurs such as Henry Ford, the manufacturer of the Ford Model T motor car. Commodore John Barry, who founded the American Navy and is known today as the father of the American Navy. The inventor of the wireless radio, Marconi, too had his roots in County Wexford, as did Logie Beard, inventor of the television. Last but not least, Martin Byrne, Postmaster General of Wexford in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Martin Byrne was a freedom fighter who fought in the Battle of Vinegar Hill in Inniscorthy in 1798, where many thousands of Irish men and women were slain by the British armies after a weekend of fighting and cannon fire. It was here that the story of Wexford, Pennsylvania begins, for Martin Byrne was one of the lucky ones. He escaped from the slaughter under the cover of darkness through this hedgerow called Needham's Gap. Here he had to travel fast and in secret to Cove in County Cork. He stowed away on a boat bound for Ellis Island, America. Not much is known about him after this until he founded the first post office and coach stop in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1832 and named the area after his beloved Wexford in Ireland. <laughs>